So my editor said, well, while you're there, I've been invited to a couple of parties you might want to go. And I'm like, yay, that's great. I was then now maybe 21, 22, something like that. I said, that'll be fantastic. The party was for Roger Vivier at oh. Maxine's. So I go in and they offer me champagne as I walk in. I'm like, oh my God, even more so. And I see a group of women sitting down and they were chatting, obviously fashion type people because they all looked fabulous and whatever. So I came and I kind of stood by myself and they said, oh, one woman said, come over here, join us. I'm like, okay, you know. And it was Eleanor Lambert. Remember Eleanor? She was like a grand dam and everybody was hanging on to every word and she invited me to come and join them. So I did and it was great. And I sat there drinking champagne and they all started talking about this couture shows. I didn't know anything about couture shows at all, nothing. So I said, what's the couture show? And they said, you don't know? I'm like, no, nah. you know. So it was about 10 minutes into them explaining what it was. And I was like, Chanel couture? Yeah, I've heard of Chanel. I think I'd like to try that maybe, you know. They said, so Eleanor said, well, if you show up at the Hotel Creon, write this down. Hotel Creon, if you show up there tomorrow, I have a ticket waiting for you. I went, oh, okay. My whole career was like, oh my God, I can't believe that just happened. Anyway, but my favorite assignment ever, they wanted me to go backstage with Karl Lagerfeld to see what he does and see what the beauty does. They made the arrangements with them. They can't deny us, they can do that. So they said, just show up. I'm like, really? With a photographer? They said, yes, we'll have a photographer everything so went backstage they said the one rule is be like a fly on the wall don't talk to him don't go near him it's before the show it was this was a regular show I can't remember if it was couture or if it was ready to wear they said don't look at him don't go near him just take notes I said fine did that went there stood in the corner he was futzing around as he does he turned around looked at me and I swear to god he comes right up to me you who are you so I said, oh, I'm Patricia Jacobs. Come here, grab me. He didn't let me finish. He just grabbed me by the wrist, right? You've met him, so you know how he is, right? How, how he is, rather. So he grabs me and he goes, look at this, look at this, look at this fabric, look at this, this. Look. He had me touching things. So, so we go through all of this and show me all of that stuff. And this was, I'm sure you probably remember this, when Denise Dubois had made the announcement that if any fashion show is more than 15 minutes late, they were going to shut it down. So... So she comes back and she and Carl are talking. I only understand a little French. I'm not that fluent at all. So I was, you know, whatever. So they started talking. It started gently. And then it started to crescendo and get louder and louder. And I was like, damn. I said out loud. I said, damn, I wish I knew what they were talking about. And she said, I will tell you what we are talking about. And he oh. gave me this whole thing. And I'm like, writing furiously. I got a double page spread in the post for that one. Hillary Alexander was a great defender. So she would like bring me in with her crew. You know, we'd go to lunch, we'd sort of get cocktail parties, she'd invite me or whatever. It was a London show. It was John Galliano waiting, going to see his show. And we all had our invitation. There's Hillary. Oh, hello. You know how she's. Oh, hello. hello. We're like, oh, kiss, kiss, and the whole thing, whatever. The security guard at the door snatched at the entrance, snatched the invitation out of my hand and made a really loud announcement that this woman's stolen someone's invitation. Just like that. I mean, excuse me, because you took someone, she's, the, hello, she took someone's invitation. Hillary and the gang, I'll call them. Oh my God, she taught him so many new ones. How the hell did they, do you know who she is? They all went like, ah! Never, I will never forget that. But she was always wow. kind of like that. It didn't happen all the time, but it happened enough for me to know that, okay, I know what it is. Look them in the eye and address it. I mean, I would do things like trying to call in a story. I will never forget that I went backstage at Yves Saint Laurent and Terry at the time was the makeup person. So Self had asked me to get some trends from her, then call it in. At the time at the Louvre, you know, we didn't have cell phones then. They had those phone booths. And so, I mean, they got the woman notes, had a wonderful time, you know, backstage chat, chat and all that stuff. Um, I went in to call in my story. You know, you have to wait to get your turn. So I went in there, I got my turn. I'm talking to the editor at the time. This woman, this French woman comes, grabs the door open and says, get out. This isn't for personal phone calls. 
I went to get my seat, you know, and they did that beautiful hand calligraphy. Somebody sat down and wrote Patricia Jacobs, New York Post by hand and hung it on the little gold chair, had my invitation in my hand, went to my seat. There was a woman sitting in it. I said, excuse me, that's my seat. And she looked at me, she says, go, go find another seat. I went, maybe she didn't understand. I said, oh no, no, this is my seat. Here's my name, whatever. I don't care, I'll go sit somewhere else. I'm sitting here. Oh my God. I said, if you don't move, I will sit on you. And she went, oh, like this. So I took my bag, I put my, I didn't sit on her. I put my bags on her, I went boom, like that. She started yelling. A couple of those little guys, you know, the little security guys with the red ties came over. What's going on, what's going on, what's going on? I told her, I said, she's in my seat. That's my seat, that's my name, that's my seat. Then they all said something in French. And the guy, one of them said to me, can't you sit somewhere else? I said, no, I just, no. I, I was a worker there. I had to actually get things done. I had to go to that show, not because, oh, I love this designer, I've got a ticket, it's fabulous. I had to go because I had editors waiting for the story. So when I say that, I can name all the people who like people of color just about who were covering Paris and so on. There was me, there was um, Terry Agans was there sometimes from the Wall Street Journal. There was Robin Givan. We Robin. all knew each other. Roy Campbell from the Philadelphia Inquirer. We would find each other and we all knew who each other was. And we all had that shared experience of, oh my God, you can't believe when I tried to get into this show, why didn't they give me my ticket? Did you know Patrick Kelly? I met, oh man. The first time I met him was, oh, that, that, oh, that's so heartbreaking with him. First time I met him, he was uh, at Martha. Do you remember Martha and Park Avenue? Martha was exactly what you would think of it. Martha had that blonde helmet hair thing, you know, going like this. It was a little old lady, had a boutique. I'm sorry, I totally forgot had a boutique on Park Avenue called Martha's. And, you know, and the, the script was like, as you would expect, Martha, you know, what have you. And Martha and her daughter, Lynn, I forgot her daughter's name, Lynn Manulis, I think her name was, loved Patrick. For some reason, they'd met Patrick somewhere, I can't remember where, and they loved Patrick. So it's, it was always these grand dame, like uh, Scar Arnold Scarzi gowns, that kind of place. But she did a whole thing with Patrick Kelly which was a complete departure. I have the party of Martha for him. And that's the first time I actually met him. So I went there and she was on, he was in the windows of Bergdorf Goodman at the same time too, which was, you know, Bergdorf's of course, which yeah. was a huge yeah. deal. You know, it's like these dresses like cut up with bright buttons and all that kind of stuff. It was just a breath of fresh air. So that's where I first met him. The funniest thing was, you know, do you know Audrey Smaltz? No. In New York, Audrey, she's a fashion diva. That's the only way I can put it. She's six foot something, black woman. She's now in her 80s and looks like she's in her 70s. It's ridiculous. And she was wearing the same dress as this little girl standing at the, the little PR girl. It was the exact same dress. And they were looking, she was looking at it. And they were like, go like this. And Patrick was like, this is what it's all about, which was fantastic. You get this diva and this little shop girl wearing the same dress and looking amazing. Anyhow, um, I met him when he was there. I had an interview with him and he wanted to do it in his hotel room. So we said, okay. I said, can I bring my sister? It's totally unorthodox, you know, cause she, you know, who didn't love Patrick? And he was like, yes, bring your sister. Yeah, oh, I yeah, love yeah. this. So it was great, it was so good. We were lying on his bed, talking in his hotel, eating Skittles. He had Skittles and we were just eating Skittles and it was the best, 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 best. But my sister is, um, she's like a, a, a into it or something. She, she knows things. And after the interview, she goes, he's sick, isn't he? I said, no, he isn't, no, he's fabulous. She goes, no, 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 he's sick. Mm -hmm. Went to Paris not that long after, went to the shop in the Marais, was supposed to meet him there. I told, oh, when you come, come see me. And this was 89, come see me, come see me. So I went, okay, you know, so I went to the shop. Is Patrick there? No, he's not here. He, he's at the flea markets, he's shopping. That's and they smile. I said, oh, and the shop looked a little bit empty. I don't know if you were there and the same time the shop looked a little bit bare. And I was like, huh. And it was shortly after that they announced that he had died. In that he blazed really hot, like it was like white hot, white hot. His models, I mean, the models were fantastic. The people he chose to be around him were fantastic. Could have been designing hotels or something, or, you know, his name of bedding, and he would have been yeah. just all over the planet. Yeah.